hello and welcome to throttle up maruti suzuki jimny has to be the most hyped car in the auto expo 2023 because you cannot get close to this because there's so many people around this car that it was practically impossible to make a video because every now and then someone's getting inside someone's opening the bonnet someone's opening the door and for the right reasons honestly because it's so peculiar it is so different that you haven't seen anything like this from the maruti suzuki stables and we already know what a car with a classic legacy yet a modern look can do in the indian market just like the mahindra thar this is maruti's take on the mahindra thar with their newly launched gemini 2023 with a five door version now and a 4x4 all grip variant too what remains to be seen is the pricing of this but we are expecting it to be around 10 to 15 lakhs now as for the front profile you get a very classic and a very clean look with the slat design for the grill and the headlamp design which is protector you can see the gun metal shade used in the chrome for the grill and the slat design which reminds us of the thar and the rubicon this is a trapezoidal grill which you have we have seen in a lot of maruti cars a very broad bumper which is reminiscent of the thar the headlamp contains a halogen projector and a drl which is nice to look at very traditional very clean you get a fog lamp and a halogen indicator placed right in those round circles the round lamps with this boxy chassis design stays true to its pedigree and looks very classic indeed so it's very nice you get black plastic body cladding on the arches and this is a 15 inch so it's a rather smaller size wheel but i would expect the top variant to have a 16 inch uh, in the alpha variant or whatever the name it you get squarish orvms which are covered in gloss black so this is how the side profile looks like it is a sub 4 meter car with a 3985 mm in length and a 2950 mm wheelbase and that is the black body plastic cladding that you can see and the roof is completely blacked out in gloss so it looks really nice and it's completely straight just like i mentioned it's very boxy again from the rear also it is completely boxy with the boxy tail lamps and the boxy bumper boxy stop lamp boxy rear windshield everything is squarish so the only thing that you can see which is round is the wheel and with this very glossy very nice treatment gloss black treatment for the wheel cover so there's a stop lamp there's a rear defogger rear washer and obviously a wiper so wiper is hidden right below the wheel so it's kind of difficult for me to show you that that's the tail lamp which is completely halogen so the stop lamp the halogen indicators reverse everything is halogen you get two towing hooks at the bottom which you can see right there are uh, body colored that's the washer that's the stop lamp that's the defogger and you get two blacked out hinges right going right with the wheel cover request sensor to finish in black just below the handle to open the tailgate and tailgate opens like this like the eco sport and um, there is a, some plastic at the interiors of that tailgate you get a 12 volt socket this boot space is a 208 liters you get also a 50 50 split for the rear seat the boot space is definitely more than the mahindra thar which is nice the roof line is completely straight and you can see this gloss black treatment done i am 5 feet 9 and my forehead would touch this the uh, rear top the roof line so it's really not tall it's a shorter car really short it feels like a toy honestly for the door handles you got completely black plastic treatment no leather this is a grab handle this is a power window switch which feels really cheap the door handles is typical maruti so you get that silverish appeal for that but yes the door is shorter the door is smaller and it's completely plastic to give this a rugged and sportier design but would have liked if they had played more with the touch and feel of the door pad nonetheless coming to the rear seat now as for the comfort the thigh support is really less the leg sub room is also very less so that's honestly quite a problem i am 5 feet 9 inches but yeah even the headroom my head is almost touching the roof line the grab handles are fixed simple plastic no premium feel whatsoever you do not get any armrest there is no middle headrest so you get only two headrests which thankfully are adjustable i don't see any ac vents but before that we'll come to the dashboard and this is what how the dashboard looks like from the rear seat it is different than the other maruti cars like the speedometer first which is completely new when it comes to the maruti cars because i haven't seen anything like this for the steering wheel it's a very normal steering wheel with a touch and tilt 
functionality the left buttons are for the infotainment the right is for the cruise control and the bottom left houses the call buttons so nothing extraordinary about the steering wheel pretty much the same for the speedometer it's a very orthodox very classic looking speedometer with the left being the tachometer and the right dial being the speedometer the center part houses the mid which is very small and i it feels that it's a tft screen and not an lcd one it house it's housed inside these boxes with bolts and all so that looks classic you get very sturdy ac vents which is nice the ac controls are really nice seems like it's picked up from the hyundai venue which i absolutely adore because those ac vents are a thing of beauty so i really like that these controls also for the 4x4 and for the hill descent control and the auto starts from enabler feel genuinely nice very rugged appeal very sportier this finish be below the gear knob is something that i absolutely hate i do not like that the gear knob is basic that's the 4x4 control do not get any center console armrest or electric packing handbrake that is the glove box which is very small you get this grab handle on the dashboard the dashboard is completely black plastic for the sun visors you get mirrors on both the side but we can't see any lamp the ir vm is also day night but not uh, automatic no sunroof on the gemini whatsoever so that was for the dashboard the touch screen although inoperable uh, seems to be the same as the balino breza or the newly launched frox So that was a gist of the interior. Pardon me if the interior bit was a bit messy because there were a lot of people who were actually interested to see the interiors and that is why it was messy. As for the engine and the transmission, the engine would be a 1.5 liter petrol engine which we have seen in the Grand Vitara and the Brezza. For the transmission, we get, will get a 5 speed manual and a 4 speed automatic. Also the expectation is such that this would be an all group variant only. So We do not expect any forward wheel drive or rear wheel drive. This would be a 4x4. As for the pricing, given that it's less spacious, less powerful and smaller than the Thar, it should be relatively lower priced than the 4x4 variants of the Mahindra Thar. Given that the two wheel drive of the Mahindra Thar is launched at around 10, actually maybe to compete with the Gemini, I expect this price to be the Gemini's price to be around 10 to 15 lakhs and that would be a really good price. Even 15 would be on the higher side. It should have should be 10 to 12. So we'll see what the pricing plan is from the Maruti Suzuki. For now, that was the review and the walk around of the Maruti Suzuki Jimny. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this car and whether would you buy one if you were considering a Mahindra Thar or a compact size SUV in the price bracket of 10 to 12 lakhs. Subscribe to our channel for more such content on the Auto Expo and other car reviews. Please leave a comment and like this video so that it reaches to more people. Keep watching Throttle Up.